One of the problems I've had with other pipe tools, especially in other programs, is a lack of control over the bounding box areas. So while I was trying to think of an easy way to create pipes, I thought the first step I would do is just to kind of flesh out exactly where I wanted the pipes to go. So I'm going to create a series of boxes. Uh, this just uses standard box modeling techniques where you um, basically pull an edge out and then you uh, rotate it or move it around, etc. So that's the first step. And I was thinking while I'm doing this, you know, if there was a plugin that, that allowed me to take like the center of the box and use that, that would be fantastic. Or maybe, if it could, you know, but even if I use the center, I really want to make sure the edges are right too. So again, uh, what I really want is something that just kind of follows the edges of the inside of the box. And then I remember that's exactly what subdivision already does. Uh, the trick is just getting around, go around the corners properly. So what you do is on the corners, make sure that you uh, just pull out a little piece of section um, and move it along a little bit. Now you'll notice in some sections like the middle pieces, you're going to need to add some more geometry to get those to be rounded. And on the corners, sometimes you'll get this uh, weird, ugly looking box thing if, if you um, notice there are these brown areas, right? Uh, and so when you go to force the subdivision, it doesn't subdivide right. So what you want to do is that's actually happening because those that geometry is not far enough away from uh, the previous piece of geometry. So just space it out a little bit and you're done. Then you can do a force subdivide using a metaform, for example, and it will look great. 